we are live. Here we go. We are live. We are live. I'd like to thank Rashida for joining me today. How you doing, Rashida? How you feeling? I feel fantastic. It's always good to talk to folks who are out there building and doing the thing. So it's great to talk to you today. Yes, it is. It is. So now Rashida is a commercial lender and underwriter. She's done that for over 15 years. She's touched over $2 billion of funding and she has worked and managed portfolios for the top Fortune 100 companies, for a few of the top uh, Fortune 100 companies, as well as worked in the White House. She's done Amazon, and she is the creator of One Click Upsell, which is a phenomenal, phenomenal tool that she'll talk about. So Rashida, this is called Legacy Talk. So I, I, I know I named all of these things. You know, these are some big, big accomplishments that the average person, you know, doesn't have. So I'd like, you know, for you to kind of explain what a legacy means to you and what got you really started on this amazing journey. Well, thanks. I love that. So first of all, um, but let me just start one click close was this whole background that you just shared, because at my heart, I mean, I'm a New Yorker. I'm from Brooklyn, I'm born and raised in bed -Stuy. And when I grew up, I did not know that people owned all of the things that I, I know now. I thought that the government owned all the stuff because I grew up in the housing projects. And <laughs> when I was um, coming up, I was always focused on economic development, entrepreneurship. My family was all about trying to figure out how to get um, you know, additional cash flow, get money in the door, and had lots of businesses always in our minds, even if our our resources were meager. So I grew up in, and I had this mentality of million dollar minimum, and that was always my thought process. We always had this motto: "Leave no millionaire behind," because. We saw in New York, you could have millionaires sitting right on the train next to people who were homeless or just got out of jail. And other people were out there with you know, diplomats and they're all in the same bubble. So when I grew up, I always did leadership programs. I was always in you know, private schools and the best of the best and being able to have internships. You know, Michael Bloomberg was my mentor. I worked at the White House at a young age. I've always done things that did not look like my circumstances. So when I tell people it is absolutely possible to put a few specific things in place to put your path onto the millionaire path, if that's what your goal is, it is so doable. Um, and at the root of everything was always money. It's, you know, people can have fantastic ideas, but there's never a lack of cash or a lack of funding if there is a profitable, smart business in motion. So I've always been gravitated to people who have great ideas, smart businesses, and the capital was probably the one thing that they were lacking, but the business foundation was always there. So for me, you know, I spent a lot of time doing economic development, um, working with putting either equity into companies or debt, you know, loans into companies to help them grow. So yeah, I was that underwriter that, you know, people would always wait to hear from like, did they say yes? Did they say yes? So, you know, being able to be on the inside and see what kind of businesses get capital and which ones get denied always gave me this different uh, insight into companies. And when people are running their businesses, especially small businesses, solopreneurs, small entrepreneurs, they really do need to operate with the rules of the big boys. Because if you operate small, it's going to be a lot harder. But when you open, you know, you, you put yourself on the path where money is provided to you, shared with you, resources are given to you because you know that you've got something really great. You do kind of have to play by the rules of the big boys. So what I spent the last seven years doing was taking all of that, you know, $2 billion of insight, having run, you know, large company portfolios, always working with small business lenders, literally taking everything I've known and helping small business entrepreneurs, online marketers, coaches, subject matter experts, literally 
get the exact path so that they can have more funding for their business, more cash flow coming into their business. And it's just about awareness, being able to have the companies um, and operate with the right understanding so that they could reach that six, seven, eight figure goal way faster than um, they may have thought in the past. So I'm always passionate about kind of going behind the curtain, you know, seeing what is the inner working. Cause I love when people say like, Oh, I'm passionate about this. I love that. And I gotta be honest, when I was approving funding or helping people with funding, there was never a line on the application. I said, what's your passion. <laughs> there was never a line that's like, you know, what gets you excited? It was always like, here's the bottom line. What does your business do? What is the cash flow, the revenue? And now you get X amount of dollars or opportunities opened up to you. And it's a formula. It really is a straight line formula. So when I when I see that that has changed so many people's lives, it's opened their awareness of, well, wow, I thought if I took these steps, my company would be stable, but maybe I was too risky. I should be taking these other steps to really help my business grow without as much struggle, and headache and, and you know, going down the, the rocky path. So I started to take what I learned in you know the corporate finance world, commercial lending, investing, all of that. And I myself have been an entrepreneur. You know, when I, I left that corporate world in 2014, so I've been a you know true hardcore sole entrepreneur for several years now. And as an internet marketer, a digital marketer, I've done commerce because for me, that was one of the fastest paths to cash. And it was something that I could understand. Wow. So you say- I don't have a tech background, but in the first year of figuring out- I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. So you said you, you've been on your entrepreneur journey since 2014, right? So- can you can you kind of talk about that and talk about you know what keeps you so driven? How how are you able to you know sustain for for that that long and um, do that well at what you do? I think well I I will say that I so even though I've come on my own, the reason why I really took a leap of faith was because I had my daughter in 2013, and even though I you know two Ivy League graduate degrees, got my MBA from Columbia, done all this huge stuff that was in my career. When she came along, honestly, I didn't care about any of that. I just wanted to be a mom. And she was one of the biggest blessings in my life. And I have to say that, honestly, I'm a Christian. So I always lead with that so people understand my mindset is that I literally almost died having her. And that's not a game. So I was, I had a certain amount of blood loss where they were like, you're almost about to have a heart attack. <laughs> so oh, wow. when I literally say I almost died having her, I was on six weeks of bed rest before she was born. And then when she was born, I almost had a heart attack. So I took that seriously. And when I said to God, how can I bless somebody else? How can I help other people be gifted with the things that you've given them and then still be a good mother? But so I was like, I need to be able to dedicate my time, my effort, my energy into this, the biggest promotion I've ever had, which was the promotion of becoming, you know, getting the mom job title. I said, for me to be able to, to be there with her, to support her, to be the type of mother I know I wanted to be, I could not be at a nine to five job the way I had been. Because I was sort of like a, you know, I was really moving up in the senior roles in finance in New York. So there's no leaving the job at five o'clock. There's no, you know, it, it, that's just not realistic. So I said, if I'm going to be on my own and I've already been making six figures, you know, plus in the corporate space, I cannot start at zero. I got responsibilities. I've got real estate. I've got, you know, family members that I assist. I have a, a child now. And when I am, I'm a single mom. I'm not single mom, like the so weekend switch off. It's like, no, no solo, single in every sense of the word. All the, the responsibility is in right here. I know that there's a certain amount of pressure and expectations. So if I'm going to move into an opportunity or move into a business, I have to feel like it's going to be clear. It's going to work. It's going to be consistent because I've got too much that I'm walking away from. I'm not going to start at zero and, and struggle. Being So that life-changing moment. So when people say, you can come up against things and literally have life and death experiences or life and death decisions to make. That was one moment that I can testify. I've been through that. And so I know what it means when people are struggling to say, you know, this has to work. This has to be the thing that I put my all in on and I go in on because that conversation with God was realer than I've ever experienced in my life. So that can one moment can sustain 
the tough times. One moment can push you through to make sure that you don't give up on yourself or that something else kicks in when you're tired or you're exhausted. So I really look to my daughter as that. And I wanted to make sure that I had a business that met three rules. And I always share this with people. So my three rules for whatever I went into was unlimited income potential. The second rule was my ability to be anywhere. I didn't want to have to have to work from or earn money from one specific place or be in meetings all the time. And my third super important rule was I want to have the least amount of people between me and my money. <laughs> so whatever I did had to fit into those three check boxes. Now, especially in New York, and I've always done things in entrepreneurship circles and, and incubators, accelerators, investment groups, all of that. There were several opportunities and people were like, oh, you're it's called. So yeah, come and help us work with us, you know, or let's work on this together. Or how can we help you with your thing? But honestly, if it didn't meet those three things, I was not interested. So when I started, slow down, slow down one second. I want to slow you down because that that is key. That is something that is big, right? That's that's something that I've never heard of before. And it, it could be implied anywhere. Right. So you have your three rules yep. that that you, you know, if. So before you get into a venture, if it doesn't line up with these three rules, if it doesn't align with your principles, then you don't even start it. Is that what I'm hearing? A hundred percent. Even just to consider it. That's to consider it. So anything that looks like MLM, anything that looks like, let's say, real estate, right? So my whole background was in commercial real estate. I had done my own development projects. I know the complexities of Anything with a doorknob on it is not passive income. I don't care what anybody says. Anything with a doorknob <laughs> is, is, is very active work. Even though the income might feel, you know, passive on from a tax perspective, your day to day is very active. I've done construction projects, development projects, um, you know, buying and selling units. So that's active. So for me, I said, there's too many people between day one and my bank account getting filled. So those are the things that I can easily eliminate. I'm like, if there's too many people in this sales cycle or too many people in the steps to actually have it deposit, that's going to be low priority for me. And something like, you know, so it's one of those things I, I would constantly evaluate. And so when I was really, you know, looking around and networking, a lot of the things that I kept hearing was people making, you know, a hundred thousand a month, a million a month, 500,000 a month. And I'm like, what, what is, and it was always centered around e-commerce or Amazon in those days. Everything was Amazon. Everything that was like clicking my you know, list of like, OK, stay from home. I can do this. I can have available opportunities. I don't have the headache of people in a way that could you know, limit the income. You know, Amazon was really checking a lot of those boxes. And I had a mentor who I for, he made a million a month, lived a lifestyle that I just couldn't even imagine. He spent most of his days fishing and on a boat. <laughs> His goal was not to work. His goal was, I want to pay people to um, support my lifestyle. And so he would do, so this was down in um, in Florida and he had a, a boat that he would charter out. He would have people come down, spend the day with them. They would go fishing. They would do all this stuff. And then he would sell them all of his Amazon products. So the $3,000 fishing rod, all the tackle and the stuff that, you know, the bait equipment and everything that they came along with it. So he was literally making a million dollars a month off of products and it was stuff that was his vacation lifestyle, joy lifestyle, you know? So it was one of those things where, but clearly he had a business, he had a background in advertising, but I, even in my high rankings of finance and all of my, you know, New York networking and all of that, I've never made a million dollars a month from my home ever, you know, <laughs> a month. I was like, not a year, a month. And so it was an opportunity where, you know, there were investors who, so he had a very specific way of launching products online, getting buyer audiences, boosting those product sales. And so he says, well, you know, there's investors that want to work with us, but he's like, you know, I don't want to do all of this. I mean, are you interested in kind of hopping on? So I literally within a week packed up my car, packed up my kid and drove down to Florida and that began a two year journey. <laughs> So, I mean, when you talk about when you see opportunities coming up, so people would invest anywhere from $25,000 to $500,000 and they would just be hands off. We would do everything from product sourcing, branding, product launches. Um, I spent some time in China doing um, work with manufacturers. So we had a lot of sourcing agents and people who were developing the products and helping to do it. So if you can imagine, we had in our height, we had four airport hangars 
of inventory, container loads of inventory shipping overseas from, from Asia and coming like through Miami port. I mean, it sounded ridiculous. It, if, if someone didn't know that this was e-commerce and like baby toys and pet products, right? They would think this was some type of cartel. It was like, okay, so the, the, the container is in, the shipment is in, you know, I'll meet you at the airport hangar four. You know, it was just so crazy. And we had people who would spend, you know, at least $5,000 and up just to shadow us for weeks. So they would come down to the warehouse. We had a photography studio set up. We had business strategy and marketing plans set up. We literally would like bring stuff in, shoot it, send it to the graphic team, copywriting, get the accounts funded, ship products out, and then on to the next product launch. It was, um, so yeah, I mean, it was, it was not, you know, I will say warehouses in Florida, humidity of the summer rains and the, you know, shipping trucks and all that stuff. That was not my initial intent when I started with Columbia Business School and Investment Management on, you know, at JP Morgan. But <laughs> that's great. That's phenomenal. So it sounds like you guys had a whole complete system in place. Yep. That doesn't matter what product you have, it didn't if matter. you implement this system, mm -hmm. it would it would work just the same, right? It didn't matter. So can yep. you feel like we're going a little fast for, for some some followers out here? Can you kind of walk walk step by step on what someone would need to do in order to create a sustainable product that they could live a lifestyle off of like your like your mentor. First thing has to be being clear on two things. The first is that there's a high demand product and the second thing is that you have a buyer's audience. This is almost whether you have a physical product, a digital product, a brick and mortar, it, it really is not relevant. It's about those two things, a high demand product and then a buyer's audience. So we had a specific way that we went through confirming before we spent any money on investing or any launches, it's going to make at least $10,000 a month minimum on one product guaranteed, no matter what. So high demand product, we would do a series of very quick, but it had to be very specific steps. We would look at competitor research. We would look at market positioning. And the biggest thing was honestly our supply chain, where we were going to get the product made, developed created, whatever that was. How can we improve on something? How can we make it better? I am not the person that's trying to go for the thing that no one's ever heard of. That's the opposite. If no one's ever heard of it, that is a struggle of educating the audience. That's about having to do a lot of marketing, a lot of brand development up front before you'll ever buy. What we were doing is having high demand products that we could verify and we could see what our competitors are already earning. So we had a lot of different tools and a lot of software tools that gave insight. What are other people already earning in this product? So we could see how much we would have to do to really compete and become a you know get the sales that we wanted high demand is like you're getting swept up in the traffic there's people already online looking for that thing and you're just getting swept up in the traffic so high demand is one piece and then the other side is building buyer audiences so from that standpoint not so much about branding i don't talk about branding much because honestly within the e-commerce space and I'll, I'll use amazon as an example when you get your order online or from e-commerce, what do you do with the packaging as soon as you get the box? Throw it away. So why are we going to spend thousands of dollars on packaging when that's not what gets people to buy the thing? By the time it shows up, I'm just happy that the quality of it is great, that it is what it, you know, it does the thing that it said it's supposed to do when they bought it. Branding and packaging is not what I'm talking about. So when I'm talking about building buyer audiences. It's not so much about marketing for branding, but getting them engaged, getting them clear on when your product drops, that they are lucky to be able to get access to it. Like really getting this buyer frenzy started and then incentivizing people to be able to purchase something. So out the gate, we get launches that get product sales and other people are like, how, how are you? You know, I'm like, it's, it's a whole thing. I can't even explain it right away. But right, so those, are two, those are the two venues. Those are the two starting points, high demand product and a buyer, building a buyer audience from the beginning. It's phenomenal. So, okay. So those are the two major keys when starting out, right? High demand and building a buyer audience. And you can do that by doing various amounts of research and you can find a yeah. lot of that stuff online. And we're not going to discuss that right now, but what we are going to discuss in these last few moments that we have with Rashida, she's a brilliant mind, as you guys can see, she has so much to, to teach you guys. And it's phenomenal because I'm learning myself every day, right? Especially hanging out with people like Rashida, who is just a phenomenal human being. So let's talk about one click sale before we get off of here, because I know that you have this product that 
is going to change millions of lives and yeah. people need to know about this they need to know how to get you know how to get the product and what it what it is so let's talk about one click sale for just a brief moment so one click close is really the main thing that i've seen a lot of people who have a coaching program or a high ticket course or some type of a high ticket offer struggle with because right now what we've done is we made a custom built platform that lets people guarantee their cash flow. So let's say we are selling a program. So your programs I know are, you know, $10,000 and above for somebody to work with you. Let's say in your example, you have a $10,000 product and you want to be able to get as many people enrolled as possible. What we do is when we work with you, you are guaranteed that that fee, the money is fully paid out to you, no matter if the buyer stops paying on any installment plans or if, if anything happens on their end. So it's almost like a, a guarantee of cash flow. So we've set up a whole finance system, a fintech platform. You can offer your high ticket programs. And let's say you want to enroll more people. One of the biggest challenges are people who are they love your product they've seen your ad or they've seen your podcast they've seen your facebook group they've seen all the stuff so you've got them to be this hot buyer and the one thing that gets them stuck is the money i don't i, I really want to do this but the money and so what i've seen is literally thousands of coaches and people with high ticket programs who are losing out on at least 70 to 80 percent of their sales they got let's say 100 people to see their offer 20 bought well, what happens to the other 80? That's where one click close comes comes in. We help to actually get those sales that would have been lost. So if you've got two, three, five other people who would have been able to buy on the spot right then, that's another $40,000 they didn't even know was missing. But now these people were able to jump onto your program and start working with you. So we made a very streamlined process so that you can offer your high ticket programs and literally guarantee that every single dollar you're selling, you know, your program for, you're paid. It takes out all the risks of chargebacks, refunds. You can enroll people and get people started in your program without worrying about that they're going to finish making your payments or that they're going to cover all the payments. That's where we come in. So we work together and we guarantee that your funds are all fully paid to you and you don't have to worry about chasing anybody down for money. So that's incredible. So it sounds like you have the only platform that can basically guarantee that you get paid what you're worth based on you know who you're selling into and your audience. Is that what I'm hearing? Well, we've developed a the only platform that combines marketing sales funnels with payment guarantees. So you don't have to send anyone outside of your sales funnel for them to go get a credit card or go get a outside source of money or go to PayPal and try and get six months credit. All of that is within your one same marketing funnel because you know if somebody clicks away, you've probably lost them already. It's gonna be a scramble to get them back to buy. So we're custom built. It's it's no one else's program and platform. <laughs> we built the, the system where your marketing messages, your video sales letter, all of your funnel things, everything that people need to see about your offer, they can click right then inside of your own website and select which program they're going to pay you with. And you can do that knowing that all of your funds when they sign up are guaranteed. Wow, that's phenomenal. And there's nothing else out there like this, correct? No, because we just built it. So you guys, you guys have to listen to what she's saying. So if you're a coach out there, if you're somebody who's selling a high ticket product and you're in high demand and you have a lot of people that want to work with you but just simply you know can't afford it for whatever their personal reasons are she can solve that problem she guarantees that you get your money's worth right she guarantees that you get paid how do they find you rashida how would they be able to reach out to you in order to get one click close how would they be able to do that so oneclickclose.io is our um, what we're launching with next week um, for additional other people to sign up. So if they go to oneclickclose.io, so if they put the number oneclickclose.io. So it's the number one. If they have a tough time, because I know human beings are that way, we also have O-N-E clickclose.com. So if someone puts the number one or they type out the word one, either way, oneclickclose.io, both of those will be there for for them to be able to get more information. Okay. Okay. Oneclickclose.io. And that is, you guys get the information that you need. So that way you can serve more people, right? You want to be able to help more people. And now the solution is here. She's telling you guys right now what you need to do in order to help more and serve more, right? So and I also like to thank you for 
Oh yeah, oh, and, and of course, and you can't for, can't forget that, right? Profit more. You you get more money, you know, the more people you help, right? So it only makes sense. So any uh, Rashida, any last minute, you know, thoughts or concerns before we, we get out of here today? Yeah. So I would encourage anyone who's you know serious about really growing their business and making sure that they take out their risks, they get in touch with us, that they you know consider what their true goals are and how they can get there faster without doing any extra work. If they're serious, they're, they already have an existing program. Um, we do have two programs. If someone is still looking to sell online, we can obviously we have that coaching program available. But one click close is truly meant for people who are they know the pain of they want to get more sales, but they don't want to run more ads. They don't want to do more things to get new traffic. It's about converting the existing traffic that they already are having, converting more people. So for that, you need to have an offer. You need to, to have something already being promoted. And if you don't have something being promoted, we do have our normal you know, online profit class. Online profit class is where we help get you ready for your offers. So there's really two paths. So either way, uh, we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to work with you. And there are absolutely opportunities to in the, within the next 30 days to have you on the path for a six figure business. And it's things that you can implement with a lot more ease than many other programs. It's phenomenal. This is revolutionary. You guys have to understand what she's giving us, right? Own IP that she created. She, she had people develop and now it's at our, you know, it's at our limbs. We can use it whenever we need to generate more sales and close more clients. Cause you need to make more money, right? So if you want to make a hundred thousand in 30 days, this is who you need to get with. You guys need to make sure you go check her out. Where can they follow you on social media platform, Rashida? Right now, um, Funded First is the primary site. And then on Facebook, they can contact me on Facebook. Right. Now you guys heard it here first. Now I thank you, Rashida, for dropping all of those bombs that you that, that's going to start an atomic war because you dropped a lot of knowledge, a lot of information on us. And I really appreciate that. I appreciate having you here and I appreciate, you know, our relationship that we're building. And I'd like to thank you for your time and I will be reaching out to you shortly. So on the lookout for that. So there you guys have it. You can go follow Rashida uh, on Facebook at Rashida Mendez. And if you guys have any further questions, you know, you can get with myself or get with Rashida. She'll help you out. So this has been another episode of Legacy Talk. It's J.O. the Genius. And I love you. And I'll see you at the top.